Hey, Cast Iron fans, look what we got going again. More charcoal briquettes. They'll be ready in about 30 minutes. What are we going to be doing with those? Well, stay tuned because it's coming right at you. Scotty is going to make some chicken. All right, rock it and roll it. What are we cooking today, Mr. Scotty? Uh, we're going to do something kind of extravagant for camping. Uh, we're going to try and make some rosemary chicken in the Dutch oven. Uh, I've got a nice sized chicken here. I'm going to go ahead and drop it in the Dutch oven. And I've got a marinade I've made here. It's about uh, four tablespoons of olive oil, the juice of one lemon, uh, there's a clove of garlic minced in there, a pinch of crushed red pepper, and a little bit of salt, and also a tablespoon of diced fresh rosemary. Ooh, nice. So we'll go ahead and just pour that over the chicken. And we want to kind of uh, just go ahead and roll the chicken around in it. Just get it coated real good. And we'll pull that out. Set it aside again. Then we have a pound of carrots. About a pound and a half of uh, red potatoes and like a 10 ounce package of cremini mushrooms and we've got some of the uh, marinade left in here we're just going to dump all this in and just kind of give that a stir around get some of that marinade on the veggies here and I've got a little extra set aside here. Pour a little more. Just get everything coated real nice. And then uh, kind of push the veggies to the side here. We'll make a little cavity to set the chicken down in there. Hopefully it'll fit. We'll see. <laughs> Here's the real challenge. Oh no, that'll work. That'll work. Oh, look at that. That looks really lovely. That's going to be good. <laughs> and then you take a couple of lemon wedges. A little bit of juice just around on the veggies. If you want a little more lemon flavor, you can just drop the wedge right in there with it. After you squeeze the juice out, we won't go quite that far. You're not going to drop them in? All right. Okay. And finally, a couple of sprigs of fresh rosemary. I can smell those already. I'm just going to tuck that under the wing there. Put our lid on. And we'll get it going on the coals. Yeah, we all decided that we had to have some onions in there, so we're going to sprinkle some onions in with them. Of course, you can always, you know, change it however you want. But uh, we decided on onions, and uh, are you going to put a little bit of water in there? Yeah, we're going to add a little water in there just to make sure it doesn't dry, get too dry. Yep, we're going to do this in a fire bowl, right? Yeah, we're going to uh, try and set this up in the fire bowl here. We've got about a dozen, 15 briquettes in the bottom there. We'll just set our Dutch oven right over those. And we'll dump a few more on top. Go. 
And then we'll just let that go for a while. Uh, we'll spin it around just to try and keep the heat kind of even all the way around. And I'll get another one of these going so I have more coals to add because these burned down. I suspect it's going to take a good hour or so to cook this. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, okay, what? our uh, rosemary chicken's been in the Dutch oven for about a half an hour now. Uh, potatoes are just starting to soften up. Carrots are doing good. Getting a nice brown on the chicken. <laughs> and it uh, looks like we're going pretty good. Get the ashes off the rim there. So, uh... I'm guessing another half hour and we should be pretty close. It's looking real good. Oh, okay, we've been uh, in the Dutch oven for about an hour here. Potatoes are nice and soft. Feels pretty tender. I think we're gonna let it go another 10 minutes or so though. Better safe than sorry. I want to make sure that chicken's cooked. It's looking really good though. Okay, we've had a total run time about an hour 20, hour 25 minutes. And it uh, looks like we're ready to eat this chicken. Potatoes are nice and tender, carrots are done beautiful. We'll get this plated up and uh, enjoy. Okay everybody, uh, here's the finished product plated, ready to eat. I hope you can uh, get a good look at all the color in that. It is beautiful and just smells awesome. It's too bad they can't eat that because it looks good and I already tasted it, I admit it, it's good. 